Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Explorer. In this video, I'm going to solve and find the value of this beautiful math problem without using a calculator and without any standard multiplication. So how can we deal this math problem? Here first of all, we will do some changes in the power of these two numbers. So therefore, we can write these two numbers as 900 raised to power 4 can be written as 2 times 2, which is 4 minus 600 raised to power 4 but 4 can be written as 2 times 2. Now here in both the terms we will use exponential identity. So here in both the terms we will use this one exponential identity. R raised to power m times n which can also be written as r raised to power m whole raised to power n. So using this exponential identity here we can write these two numbers these two terms as this will become 900 raised to power 2 whole raised to power 2 minus second term will become 600 raised to power 2 whole square now what we will do here here we will try to find out the value of these two numbers inside the parentheses 900 square and 600 square so here first we will find out the value of 900 square. So therefore we can write 900 square is here 9 square is 81 and there are two zeros so these zero will become double so there will be four zeros. So the value of 900 square is 810,000. We will find out the value of 600 square. So therefore the square of 6 is 36. And this zero will become double, so there will be four zeros. So the square of 600 is 360,000. Now we will substitute these two values here in these two terms. So this equation will become is equal to 900 square is 810,000 whole square minus now the value of 600 square is 360. Whole square. Now, what we will do here? Here we will use an algebraic identity a square minus b square algebraic identity. So, here we will use this one algebraic identity a square minus b square, which is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So, using this algebraic identity. Here we can write this number as is equal to a minus b. So a is 810,000 minus b is 360,000 times a plus b. Now a is 810,000 plus b is 360,000. Now here we will try to subtract and add these two numbers. So let's subtract and add these two numbers. So this is very easy. Here 0 minus 0 is 0. 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 1 minus 6 is not possible. So we will give one 10 from this 8 to this one. So this will remain 7 and this will become 11. No. 11 minus 6 is simply 5. And 7 minus 3 is 4. So here the subtraction of these two numbers gives him 450,000 times now we will add these two numbers. Now to add these two numbers again we will start from the ones position. So 0 plus 0 is 0, 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 0 6 plus 1 is 7 and 3 plus 8 is 11. So this gives him. 1,170,000 and we will try to multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and without any standard multiplication in the upper. So how can we multiply these two numbers? So here we will change one number to the sum of its place values of 8 digit and that number. So there are less non-zero digits, there are two non-zero digits. So we will change this one number to the sum of place values of 4 plus 5. So we can write these two numbers as here the place value of 4 is 400,000 
plus and the place value of 5 is 50,000 so this will become 50,000 and the place value of here is 0 is 0 so this will be 0 times this one number 1,170,000 and we multiply this number 1,170,000 with these two numbers so first we multiply this number with 400,000 and then we multiply this number with 50,000 so we will do this multiplication here first this will become 400,000 uh, 400, times this one number 1,170,000 plus we multiply this number with this so this will become 50,000 times this one number 1,170,000 one we will multiply these two numbers with each other and then finally we will add their results. So let's do this multiplication here. This is very simple. 400,000 times 0 is 0. 400,000 times 0 is 0. 400,000 times 0 is 0. This number times 0 is 0. Now this number times 117 is. Okay, we have to multiply this number with 117. So we will multiply this 117 with this number. So 117 times 0 is 0. 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 No. 117 times 4 is. We have to multiply 4 with 117. So 4 times 7 is 28. So this is 8. 2 will be carried. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. And 4 times 1 is 4. So here the product of these two numbers gives him 468 billion plus we multiply these two numbers 50,000 with 1,170,000. So again it is very simple. This number times 0 is 0. 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 We have to multiply this number with 117. So 117 times 0 is 0, 117 times 0 is 0, 117 times 0 is 0, 117 times 0 is 0. No, 117 times 5 is, we have to multiply with 5 with 117. So 5 times 7 is 35. So 5, 3 will be carried. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. And 5 times 1 is 5. So this is 5. So the product of these two numbers gives him 58 billion 500 million. Now finally, we, will, we have to add these two numbers. So that will be our final answer. Uh, to add these two numbers, we will start from the ones position. So let's start from the ones position. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. Comma. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is again 0. Comma. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 5 plus 0 is 5, no, 8 plus 8 is 16, so 6, 1 will be carried to the next digit, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, so 2, 1 will be carried to the next digit, 4 plus 1 is 5, so this is 526 billion, 500 million, so finally, 526 billion, 500 million is our answer and value of this is beautiful exponential math problem now at last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching